Hello YouTube, welcome back to another YouTube tips and tricks episode and in today's episode we are going to talk about five mistakes starting streamers make. And the first mistake I see people do often is in the way they talk. And I don't mean the words they use, I don't mean the accent they use, I am talking about how quickly or how fast people speak when they are streaming or when they, were when they are making videos. Now when you are streaming it's actually a bit more annoying because when you're doing videos you can speed up the video or you can slow down the video although slowing down doesn't happen that much but you can speed up the video and then it's just pretty followable but when you are streaming and you are speaking really really slowly it can be a bit tedious for your viewers to just I don't know follow someone that is just really really slow and really monotonous often as well. Now on the other side of that, if you speak too fast, then people can't follow you because you are just rambling your words and people don't understand what you say. So when you are streaming and when you are doing videos, definitely make sure you have a nice pace, you speak clearly so people understand you, people can follow you and people aren't bored of listening to you. Then the second thing I see people do often as well is just not talk enough or not talk at all because mostly it happens with streamers when there's no one in chat because they are still very very small so there's no one in chat they don't speak and then when someone pops in they start speaking but often they don't see when someone pops into chat and then when that person views your stream and nothing is really happening they might leave without you even noticing so even like for me example when I started streaming I had very very few viewers sometimes I had no viewers at all but I was always speaking I was always talking I was always making it interesting also for people who watch your video afterwards as well so when they watch your video afterwards you're always speaking you're always engaging and it's so much more interesting for people when they then come into your stream as well that you're at least talking same thing for when you do a video also mostly you would speak when you are doing a video Although I have seen it when there's just a lot of silence when you are doing anything, when people are doing anything. So try to speak, not too fast, not too slow, but also speak at all. Speak, say something at least, because otherwise it is just a game that you are doing and nothing more. Then the next one is a really, really, really important one. And so many people do it, but please, please, please do not ask for shout outs because it is so annoying when people ask you for shout outs. I've been getting shout out requests even when I was still a small streamer as well but it's just if you have to shout out someone you will have to shout out everyone because otherwise it's not fair to that person that you don't give them a shout out but you do give that person a shout out. Plus if you ask for shout outs it just means that you don't really believe in yourself, you don't really believe in your own capabilities to make something of your own channel and you're kind of relying on someone else, on other people to give you a shout out, to kind of give you a boost and it's not really a nice way to do things because mostly some viewers when you ask for shout outs are not going to watch you anyway because it's just it doesn't make any difference so don't ask for shout outs because it's incredibly annoying and it is super 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 amateuristic so don't ask for shout outs you can make it on your own without getting a shout out so do not ask for shout outs it's the worst thing basically that you can do in my opinion and the next thing is not super important per se but it does make your stream look a lot a lot nicer and that is don't make your stream look boring or uninteresting and that is not only about the way you talk because the way you talk can be boring as well if it's too slow for example but I'm talking about your layout about having a theme having your kind of thing on screen so people know oh now I'm watching that kind of person so I'm talking about maybe have your logo up maybe have your stream schedule up somewhere as well it could be down in the description below as well but try to have maybe a nice border maybe if you use a webcam which is also a thing I could suggest have a webcam because it does look nicer when you are a streamer but if and when you use a webcam um have a nice border around it make make it look nice don't have your screen with your game or whatever that you do and then another tiny screen with your webcam without any layout without any theme around it without any without anything fun 
it's again not super important but it will make your stream look so much nicer and also make it look more professional. And then the last point I kind of covered a little bit earlier, but a lot of people do not use their webcam in a good way. Now, as I mentioned, you don't have to have a webcam, but when you do, you need to utilize it properly. And by that, I mean, make it look nice, not just a border around it, not just some animation, but I mean, have it look interesting. Don't have just a blank background behind you, for example. Um, in my in my example, I've put some posters up, I put some lights up. It's still not ideal, it's still not perfect, but for what I can do and for what I can afford, it's already a lot nicer than just have a plain uh, white background behind you. You can also put up a shelf with memorabilia, uh, put some uh, put something up uh, about your game, just make, make it look a lot nicer, make it look a lot cooler, and maybe people can comment on it as well. It's it's something to talk about, so it's definitely just a lot nicer than have nothing behind you. Plus, if you use a webcam, even without having the nice border, if you don't have a nice background, having a webcam helps your audience to connect to you. It makes them feel like they know you more, and it just makes them feel like they are more with you than if they can't even see you because if you play a game or if you do some reactions, they can see your face, they can see how you respond to the situation that, that is happening on the screen as well. And it can make some funny moments as well. If you fail, for example, it can be funny, I don't know, but it's just so much nicer, it's just so much better if you have a webcam. But when you do, don't just have it and then not do anything with it. Don't have a messy background behind you either, that's also not good. So yeah, basically those are my five tips that starting streamers uh, kind of kind of not do, or uh, they do them, I don't know. They're, they're common mistakes that starting streamers make. So uh, yeah, I really hope they were useful for you so you can avoid those tips. Obviously there are a lot more things that you can avoid when you start out, but in my opinion, those are five important ones to keep uh, to keep in mind. So uh, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't done it yet. It definitely helps me out. And uh, yeah, if you agree with me or don't agree with me, especially if you don't agree with me, let me know in the comments below. Why do you not agree with me? What did I forget or what? Maybe, maybe you think that wasn't a point that, uh, that I should have said. But yeah, anything, let me know in the comments below. Or if you have a good idea for another video, if you want me to cover another subject, let me know as well. I'm all ears. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you all again in the next video. Bye.